Morning, everybody. Olav here, and welcome back to Let's Play South Park and the Stick of Truth. So we have a crown. When did we get a crown? What is the crown? The crown is the crown of anal pleasure, uh, which adds t 110 armor, reducing enemy attacks. But um, the Valkyrie. Adds 80, but we get 10 power points when you kill an opponent. And we have the ability, uh, and we have ranged attacks do 100 more damage. Plus, okay, that is the patch. Okay, so yes. Um, so I, I, I don't know how much more we have. We have just gotten out of Mr. Slave's butthole. Well, actually, we got out of his mouth. We went in his butthole and out his mouth. We went through his entire digestive tract backwards. Yay, us. So, all right. So, now we have to go and face... Um, I do not want you. I, I, don't, I don't want you. I want to actually start off with Butters. Butters is my buddy. He is awesome. Um. Okay. Fools, you Hi, Clyde. Of darkness. We can. Right, back away from we that totally stuff. fucking well, will. To complete my army, you have come to witness the power of darkness. Stop, Clyde. You have no idea what that stuff is. Yeah, huh, it's green sauce from Taco Bell. I took it from their construction site. Dude, that's not Taco Bell sauce. Then why'd I find it at the Taco Bell? It leaked out of a UFO, Clyde. It's yeah. like goo from another galaxy. Think about it. Since when does Taco Bell have a green sauce, dude? Actually, since about a year ago. What? Taco Bell has green sauce now. No way. They've had it longer than a year. I've always gotten spicy green burritos. Yeah, no, I'm saying in the packets. They just started putting green sauce in packets. The fuck? How the fuck did I miss it? Ha ha! I don't seem so foolish now, do I? Actually? You have Taco Bell green sauce, get fuck? Yeah, yes, Clyde, you why do. Why do you think that shit's glowing? <laughs> Maybe because of the three varieties of chili peppers. Just give us a stick, asshole. Or what? You'll beat me up? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! And another surprise for you. I will totally kick your ass. Oh god, what's he doing? Um. Oh god! I make love to you, woman! Ah! Oh god! Get him, Commander Douchebag! Oh God! They resurrected Chef. This all makes sweet love. Hell. I'm ever you glue. Okay. Um. I'm trying to come. I, I'm trying to figure out what I want to say about this. This is. Um. Press. Holy crap! Um. Okay! Alright! Wow! Chef is kind of a badass! Alright. You eat! You. There, yeah. You healing touch you go, me. Huh? Yeah, that's the stuff, Butters. Uh, Professor Chaos to the rescue! Yeah, 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 <laughs> Hammer of Chaos. Whatever the special effect was, he's... 
He's immune to it. I'm not an Irish ruler. Uh, okay. So, use... Uh, oh, not talking God like damn. Hitler and kill those bitches. There we go. Oh, man. Butters. Um... Yeah! No, no! Okay, Butters, you're getting a large health potion. Damn, I really don't want to do- I don't, don't, don't make me do this, dude! Oh, come on, I was totally doing the D. Oh, jeez. Chef. Down, boy. I'm sorry, boys. Oh, you don't have to apologize, Chef. It's the goo that's doing it. Um, I should probably use a large health potion on myself. Eat a hoagie. No? Okay, I thought it was a hoagie. Sorry. Uh, abilities. Feel my righteous fury. All right, hey, there we go. The you have to obey. Obey me. Dude. In high zoom. Ha 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 ha. All right. Uh, cure him. Jeez, guy. No, no. Chef is really kind of a dick. Okay. Yeah, Chef, you're not going to get to... What? Yeah! Back off, Chef. Bad. I'm sorry, boys. Oh, you don't have to apologize, Chef. It's the goo that's doing it. Butters, you do realize you're gonna kill Chef again, right? Wait, what? Children, everybody, I'm back. Enough of this. How is he not? I was gonna say, how is he not Burn dead? Them. Burn them all. Oh, yeah. Your eons of torment are at an end, ruler of darkness. Uh, okay, um, you know what? I'm not playing anymore. You have broken the rules of the stick, and for that, I banish thee. I banish thee from space and time. Dude! That seriously could have killed him! Uh... What the fuck, Cartman? We did it, dude. That was awesome. You did it. Your noble quest is at an end. And for all your deeds and all your time put into this, I hereby promote you to King Douchebag. Congratulations. Well, thank you. King Douchebag. Quickly, now let's get the stick back to safety before anyone can do. Uh, hi. We've got him. We've got the Dragon Board. What? What, the, who, what? So it really is the Dragon Board. Just can't stop being a thorn in our side, huh? He has the stick of truth. How does this guy know you, King Douchebag? King Douchebag? Yeah! Is that what you told him your name was? Why didn't you tell them your real name, Dovakin? What? You don't remember, do you? No! How we tried to find you? Look, that stick belongs with the Fighters of Zaron. Give it back! Fighters of Zaron? Boys, what's going on here is much more complex than that. This isn't the first time a UFO has crashed to Earth. You see... In 1947, a UFO crashed in Roswell. Right. Oh, God. Oh, brother, spare us. Hang on a sec. A UFO crashed in Roswell, and a new government agency was created to investigate the paranormal. Our agency. Can we skip this? Right. Like, hit the skip button or something? Oh, you don't want to <laughs> skip this. Yes, we do. Whenever aliens are spotted, vampires run amok, our agency is there, and we have never lost right. a fight. That is, until four years ago when we investigated a child. 
Yan, a Yan, child. Yan. A child who had an unnatural power inside him. I had orders from the president to secure the child so that we could harness his powers before our enemies could. But he slipped through our hands. The government wants the new kid for his farts? That's dumb. Yeah, it is. No. His amazing ability to make friends so quickly on any social network. Before he was five years old, he had 3.2 billion friends Damn, on Facebook alone. That's a lot. Do you have any idea the power that kind of gift yields in today's world? It's time to come Actually, with Actually, I might. Time to stop resisting and use your gift for your country. Is he really still talking? Are we so different, you and I, Dovahkiin? Uh. You have to do what the government tells you to do, just like me. Why? We're all just pawns in their game. I'll admit you are fascinating. You have more power than any child I've ever come across, and yet all you seem to really care about is this. It must be very important. What does it do? Whoever controls the state controls the universe, dumbass. Yes. Yeah. Controls the dumbass. But then I wouldn't have to do what I was told anymore. I could. <laughs> I control the universe. Get back. Back, I say, all of you. I can do anything. Anything I want. <laughs> I no longer need you, new kid. Oh, dude. I the universe. Really? That was completely unnecessary. Uh, uh -huh. I don't... Uh, oh, man. Uh, damn thing. How does it work? Show me how it works. Yeah, right. Sure, hand it over. Dovahkiin, why should we be on the opposite sides? Join me, Dovahkiin. Rule by my side. Rule. And you can have this all to yourself forever. Um, I can offer you all... Put on some Just pants and we might talk. You can rule with this once again. You underestimated the character of the fighters of Zaron. What binds us is more than that relic. And you failed to recognize the character of our alliance. Yes, and that friendship is more important to any of us than even the stick of truth. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> Princess Kenny. Oh, one of you great. Sense? You'd sell us all out? But why, Princess Kenny? Because Princess Kinney was born a half-orc, whose entire village was wiped out by humans and elves. Morgan Freeman? You see, when humans and elves lived together in the forest of Hollow Falls, an elven queen fell in love with the orc known as Dandar, the first one to possess the Stick of Truth. They loved in secret and had a child. A beautiful what little girl, a girl who watched as everyone she loved was killed in cold blood. And that is why she waited. And what the hell? All this time, to take the stick from you, for Princess Kinney is true heir to the Stick of Truth. Wow, that's pretty cool. Just one thing, Morgan Freeman. How come every time something convoluted needs explaining, you show up? Because every time I show up and explain something, I earn a freckle. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Princess Kinney, come back here! Okay. Oh. Wow. Um. Right, do I have, can I modify these? Yes, I can, okay, cool. Um, what do I have? I have fire damage increased by 25%, gross out damage, gain, attack up at the start of combat, earn five PP each. Okay, I think I should probably focus on trying to, um, you know what, let's remove all. Yes, that will remove everything from all armor and give us 20% uh, more damage with thrown items. Range attacks do 100% more damage, or 100 more damage. Yes, we'll do that. Modify our fire damage, which uh, my 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 vibrator does, and gain rebirth at the start of combat. Five health points each turn in combat. 
50 HP each turn in combat. Ah, uh, do I want rebirth or... We'll do that. Oh! Oh, and I have a fucking ninja star! Nice. Ignores up to 400 armor. Uh, reduces target armor by 100 per on perfect attack. Ah. Uh, You know what? I want to ignore up to 400 armor for my throne damage. Okay. Uh, now comes the question, do I want to, do we, do we just keep on going or do we call it a day now? Okay, so I have to confront Kenny. And I get the feeling that this is like the ult, the, the final battle. Um, and much, as much as it may kind of seem like a, a jerk thing to do, I'm going to call it a day for today. Because this has been, already been over 15 minutes. Um, so we now understand why we had to move and everything. Because government's after us. Because we're like, we make friends like a breeze. So that is all the time we have for this game for today. As always, thank you very much for watching. And stay tuned for more from a love production. If you want to see some Cheerio! I mean, technically, I think this would. Everything's better with them. We're just like, yep. We don't worry about tomorrow. To properly follow the preceding conversation, we recommend the Time Traveler's Handbook of 1001 Tense Formations by Dr. Dan.